Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for another Databricks video. Today it will be a short video about Databricks repositories. We are going to see how to integrate Databricks repositories with GitHub. Of course, when you use Databricks, you would like to have some sort of version, right? You can use version history in Databricks. However, we would all agree that using GitHub for versioning is better. Why? Because we can have multiple branches, we can merge, rebase, pull and push changes to the remote repository and all the good stuff we know about GitHub. Let's take a look on the user workflow and the workflow in the Git provider and then practice on our own Databricks workspace. This is the user workflow in Databricks. First, of course, we have to clone the remote repository to our Databricks workspace. Then, based on the main branch, we create a feature branch where we apply the changes, we create notebooks, edit files, etc., etc. Once we have uh, made the changes, we have to commit and push the code to the feature branch to the remote repository. Then we move to the Git provider. So we go on GitHub, we create a pull request, and uh, we ask our colleagues to review our changes and approve uh, them. When they approve the changes, then we can perform a merge into the main branch. If you have set up uh, Databricks, uh, sorry, GitHub Actions, then you can deploy those changes automatically to the rest of the environments, you know, from dev to UAT and from UAT to production automatically. Now, in this video, we are going to see up to this point where we create a pull request and we merge into the main branch. This is the best practice to follow when you use multiple branches. So we have the main branch, then we have the development branch, which is based on the main branch, and uh, based on the development branch, then we create the feature branches. So when we, we use feature branches to develop our code, make changes, and then create a pull request, merge them with uh, the development branch to the development branch, and once this is done and everything uh, is okay in dev, then we can merge the code into the main branch. The first thing we have to do is go to our GitHub account and create a personal access token. So click on your avatar and click on settings. Scroll down a bit and you will see the developer settings on the blade here on the left side. Click on that. Click on personal access tokens. Now we have the fine grained tokens. That's a new one, but let's go with the classic ones generate new token let's generate a new token called test expiration seven days we don't need it more than that click on repos here you can select the scope as you can see there are plenty workflows and all those kind of things and then click on generate token and then you have the token generated now we have the token, we can go into our Databricks workspace in order to use this access token to get access to our GitHub account from our Databricks workspace. So on your Databricks workspace, click on your user, user settings, and then linked accounts. Select your Git provider here. As you can see, we have multiple Git providers, GitHub, GitHub Enterprise Server, Bitbucket, Azure DevOps. So for us, it's GitHub, right? And then click on Personal Access Token, paste the token here, and then provide your email address here for me. That's my Gmail account. Click on Save. And now, as you can see, we have access to our GitHub account. Back to our GitHub, let's create Actually, let's create a new repository, right? So let's uh, let's go under repositories and click on create, test uh, video, whatever. Add a readme file, create repository. So now this one, we click on the code, copy that the HTTP URL. 
Let's go back to our Databricks workspace and add this repository. So click on here, add repo, paste the URL. It uh, automatically fills in the Git provider and the repository name. Click create repo and it will take a couple of seconds to create the new repository to clone the repository from your GitHub account. Now, as you can see, we are on the main branch. Let's uh, let's create a new branch. Let's create the develop uh, development branch, right? So click on the branch here, click on create branch and call it development. Click on create. Here we are, we can pull, there is nothing to pull, of course, but uh, just to show you that you can do that. And now, as you can see here, we have the development branch. So let's create a notebook on the development branch, print uh, test or whatever, test, perfect. Now, if you go to your workspace, as you can see, we have this notebook here that we developed. Click on that and you can see the changes that uh, we have here. So we create the new notebook. Let's uh, provide the commit message. First uh, commit and you can uh, provide a description as well, but let's commit and push to the remote repository. As you can see, it says successfully committed and push changes to branch development. Back to our GitHub account, you can see here we have a new branch called development. You can click on compare and pull request. And here you have to assign a reviewer, a colleague of yours, in order to review the code and be able to approve the changes. For now, I don't have anyone here, so I can. Uh, uh, create a pull request without any reviewer and as you can see here we are going to merge the uh, development branch to the main branch so we click on create pull request and if you had a reviewer here he had to approve first before you can merge the pull request but uh, here since I'm alone I can do it confirm merge and this is going to merge to the main branch from development to the main branch. So if you go back to your repo and you can see here, we have two branches, main and development. And here you can also see the commits, right? You merge, merge pull request from the development branch. Now, if you go back to the uh, Databricks workspace, let's say we are in the development branch right now, right? So let's add a file. Yeah. Test, it's just a file, doesn't really matter here, just to make a change. And so let's uh, go back to our the development branch here. As you can see, we have the new file. So let's uh, Provide a, a commit uh, description, commit and push to the development branch in the remote repository, right? And now we have a new change in our uh, development branch. As you can see now, we have only the first notebook that we created here. But if you go into the development branch, you, you see we have this new file. Now, instead of doing a merge request, you can go back into your workspace and actually perform a merge here and you can merge uh, to the branch merge into the development branch. So no, you can go into main and merge the development branch from here. Begin merge and this will merge the branches in the remote repository as well. So if we go back to our remote repository, you click on the main branch and you will see the new file without performing a pull request from GitHub. Now, this is a bit tricky. I don't recommend doing that. I, also, I recommend using a pull request, create a pull request from here, 
add the reviewer to review your code, to review your changes, and then merge the changes to the main branch. So in a nutshell, as you can see, you, you can also rebase and reset uh, to another, to a previous commit from Databricks repos. So this is in a nutshell how you can use Databricks repositories. One important thing that is missing from Databricks repos is that you cannot uh, cherry pick a commit. So for example, what we do at work is uh, we cherry pick a commit from the development branch and we merge it into the main branch. And we do not merge the whole development branch into the main branch, which is, I think, good practice. So this is one uh, limitation in Databricks repos. Aside from that, though, I think it comes uh, quite handy when it comes to versioning. This is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a quick video about Databricks repositories. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.